A current I flows in a long thin wall cylinder of radius R. What pressure do the walls of the cylinder experience? So let's let us consider the cross section of this cylinder and let us divide this conductor in a small strip of width h and the rest of it. So we are dividing this whole conductor into a small strip let's say of width h and the rest of the conductor. So in 3D it will look like this. So current is flowing inside the plane and we have just broken it into two pieces. Therefore total field anywhere is now given by superposition of magnetic fields due to 1 and 2. So individually the magnetic fields produced by this blue area uh, we can add that to the magnetic field produced by the yellow area to get the total field. Now we are supposed to find the pressure on the walls. So we are, so this strip which we have cut let's find what is the force on that strip. Then we can divide that by the area of some section of that strip and we can get the pressure on that particular part of the conductor which will be same everywhere. Now for finding the force on that strip we need to find the magnetic field external magnet, magnetic field to this strip so then we can do BIL to find the force on it. So what is the external magnetic field on this strip? So that we need to calculate first. So for that we will use again the principle of superposition. So due to the strip let's say the this yellow field is because of the strip and blue field is because of the rest of the conductor. So inside the cylinder total field is 0 and outside the cylinder field is mu naught i by 2 pi r. So inside it is 0 so we know that just inside the conductor b in is 0 which implies b1 is equal to b2. So let's call this blue part as 1 and this section this small strip as 2. So b2 to 1 this thing plus b due to 2 this thing is equal to 0 net field is 0 which means b1 is equal to b2 and just outside the conductor the total field is by adding both them both of them so because of the strip field will be just reverse in direction but same magnitude and because of the rest of the conductor field will be same just inside and just outside which means b out is b1 plus b2 and since b1 is equal to b2 we get b1 is equal to b out by 2 and the value of uh, b total is mu naught i by 2 pi r. So by solving these three we get b1 is equal to mu naught i by 2 pi r by 2. So half of the field outside is because of the small strip just outside we are just talking about just outside the surface not very far. Why just outside because only just outside the field because of the rest of the conductor will be same. If you go too much inside and too much outside by the same distance then the value of field due to the conductor will be different. But here just near the strip the field will be same because of the conductor. Now force on the strip of thickness h and length l. So the thickness h and let's take the L length of this strip. So the force will be BIL and I2 is the current flowing through the strip. So I can write the value of B1 here and I2 will be width of the strip divided by total circumference times I unitary method. So H upon 2 pi R into I times L. So pressure is this force upon area which is HL. So H and L will get cancelled. You will get your answer. So once again we divided the conductor into two parts. One is small strip and one is the rest of the conductor. Now from here we got that the B outside because of the strip is because of the total field divided by 2. So because of total field is mu naught i by 2 pi r because of a strip it is mu naught i by 2 pi r half of it. 
which is same as the field due to the rest of the conductor which is the external field for this strip that gives force is equal to bil so now we can use b as this i we can get from unitary method and l we have considered so for area you divide this by hl and you get your answer